before I start, yeah, I'm sorry, this video is a little clickbaity, but there's other people making their own Power Rangers Lightning Collection videos and stuff that they want, so I think I'm allowed to choose whatever I want here too. So, as of this video, we have the following Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures. Wave 1 has White Ranger, Lord Zed, Shadow Ranger, and Dino Charge Red. Wave 2 has Pink Ranger, Beast Morphers Red, Beast Morphers Gold, and the Magna Defender. Wave 3 has the Red Ranger, Dino Charge Gold, Beast Morphers Blue, and Lord Draken. San Diego Comic-Con 2019 had the Red Ranger with the Shield and the Zeo Gold Ranger. There was also some fan channel exclusives in 2019. The Fighting Spirit Green Ranger with Putty 2-Pack, Goldar, the Black Ranger with Shield, Galaxy Red with Psycho Ranger Red, and Psycho Blue. As of this video, we still haven't seen Wave 4, but this is going to include Zeo Blue, Cyber Villain Blaze, SPD Red, and the Yellow Ranger. Wave 5 is going to give us the Blue Ranger, the Ranger Slayer, Time Force Red, and Zeo Gold. But what about Wave 6 and 7, or even the exclusives? Well, let's take a look at Raz Holly's Wave 6, 7, and his 2020 exclusives. So there's going to be some ground rules here. There will be at least one Mighty Morphin character. There will be one red per wave. I'll have a two pack and those will count as one but not two or three unless I state that it's a three pack but I won't go that far. Or four. There will be one convention exclusive. There's going to be no Super Sentai or Hyper Force. As much as I enjoy Super Sentai even more than Power Rangers, this is an American line, so if I want my beloved Die Ranger team, I'll just have to do with some SH figure arts. So, we're looking at a minimum of 8 solo packs and a minimum of 1 2 pack. Let's roll! The San Diego Comic Con 2020 exclusive Bulk and Skull 2 pack. The 2 pack will be, as Linkara once put it, the real stars of the show, Bulk and Skull. They would have two heads. Bulk would have one with a bandana and another one with his bullet head hat. Skull would have messed up hair and his beret. Wave 6. In Space Red Andros. It's Wave 6 and why hasn't the best of the best not been released? We already got Jason and Tommy on the first list. It would have been very fitting to get the Red Space Ranger. He has a great uniform, his weapon is awesome, and he saved the universe. Mighty Morphin Black, Zack Taylor. Rounding off the original five teenagers with attitude is the second in command, Zack. A fan favorite, and the helmet on the Dragon Shield version is spot on. So, it would be nice to see the hip-hop Aikido master in his true nature. This time, with his dreads. Beast Morphers Yellow, Chloe. The Extreme 3 can finally team up, and Mr. Silva can finally have his crush by his side. Maybe this time, we can get my favorite Beast Morphers weapon, the Camera Gun. Divatox. Maybe this one should come with some kind of sound box where she would exclaim, DESTROY THOSE RANGERS! <laughs> it just gives me goosebumps. Fan Channel Exclusives 2020 Red Samurai Ranger Sibling 2-Pack Jaden and Lauren Shiba How cool would it be to see these two samurais on the shelf with the rest of the Reds? 
Not only that, but they're a couple of great characters, and the fact that they're siblings from the same clan, it makes them that much more special. Prince Gasket and Archerina, Machine Empire 2-Pack. Even though they didn't stay too long in Zeo, Prince Gasket and Archerina have to be the best designed bosses in the Zordon era. I can't get enough of these two. エモージェンシー緊急出動土台の出かましに今こそ合体輝け響け新開発光と音のビルトアップシステムを体験せよライトサンド特装合体デラックスデカレンジャーロボ Continuing on with the fan channel exclusives, there's also single packs. Emperor Grum. With Doggy Kruger already released during Wave 1 and SPD in Wave 4, why not give them the SPD big boss himself, Emperor Grum. Lord Zed rocks, but Grum can be just as fearsome. Oh, and that chopped horn makes him look like a bad mofo. Scorpina. 2019 got Goldar, so why not continue to build the evil forces on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers by adding Scorpina into the mix? Oh, and a bit of trivia about the Kyoryu Sentai Zhu Ranger, Scorpina, aka Lamy, is Goldar, aka Gryphazor's wife. At the end of the series, Lamy gives birth to her and Goldar's child. Ninjor. The Dudley Do Right Voice Ninja is a no brainer. He looks cool and he's a mentor for the Rangers. He could be treated as a Six Ranger and could be added to the Six Ranger ranks. Wave 7 Zeo Red, Tommy Oliver. With no Tommy to be seen since Wave 3, it's time to get him back in the line, leaving us with just three more Tommies to be released. Turbo Red, Dino Thunder Black, and of course the actual Green Ranger. Unless they decide to do an evil Green Ranger, I think that's a little bit of an overkill on the Dragon Rangers. Anyway, a different hairstyle and maybe the Zeo Crystal would be a thing for this Tommy figure. SPD 3 Green one of the funniest and nicest rangers ever, Bridge. SPD 3, the Green Ranger. He has the most charm in SPD. He was the reason I continued to watch SPD. Shadow Ranger and Cat were close seconds, but with a show that has a pompous blue, a rude red, an airhead pink, and a bland yellow, Green is the gem of the show. Beast Morpher Silver, Steel. How cool is it that we'd be getting another complete team? And why not Beast Morphers? They're the current series and they should be up front and center, along with Mighty Morphin. Besides, it's how Hasbro would make more cash. Trumpet Top, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. For Mighty Morphin, we got one of my all-time favorite villains, mainly because I loved him in Die Ranger, but putting that aside, he's a well-designed monster. Well, for Super Sentai, and he's very strange in the US, these kinds of monsters would get my imagination going 100 miles a minute. Why does he look like this? What is it supposed to be in Japan? These are the monsters I live for. Unfortunately, he got very little screen time in Power Rangers. King Sphinx, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Okay, fine, maybe not Trumpet Top, but how about King Sphinx? He was in so many promotional items back in the Mighty Morphin days, and I'm not sure why. He only appeared once, and he was quickly defeated. 
but the fact that he was in so much merch made him a beloved monster to the kids in the 90s. Again, I know this was a little misleading. I have no idea what the 6th and 7th waves will look like. But like everyone else, I could dream. Neon Knight Riders! <laughs>